Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a split navigation in a Squarespace 7.1 website. What we're going to do is use custom CSS to split your main navigation header links and put them on both sides of your site title. We'll have half of the links on the left and the other half on the right. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there's some key details about this code that you'll need to customize for your specific website. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to use this code in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and we'll need to do a few things to get our main menu ready for the split navigation. The first thing we're going to do is removing all of the other elements, and I want to mention you need to make sure you have an even number of links that's recommended. Depending upon how much text is inside those links, you might not need an even number to have it evenly spaced, but it's a lot easier to do it that way. Then the last thing we'll do up there is to make sure the navigation layout has centered our logo. So let's go ahead and take care of these before we get to the code. I'm going to hop into edit mode. I'll select edit site header and under elements, we'll toggle off the button in the cart and then we'll head over to edit design. This is where we can change the layout of the navigation links. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and hop into color and I'll change the color of our navigation links so they're easier to see. There we go. All right. Under the design tab, Select layout and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see logo with the links underneath. This is the layout that we need to make sure that this code works. Again, we're in edit mode. I selected edit design and under the layout option, select the last option with the logo on top and those three squares representing the links on the bottom. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and select save and we're gonna navigate to our site-wide CSS. I'll select website, then Website Tools, then Custom CSS. Now scrolling down here, this is the code that we're going to work with, but I have three values in bold and that's very important. The first is about the size of your menu. This text right here where it says 1030 PX, that right there is the distance of which the menu needs to be underneath the logo so the text still fits. That's specific for my font size and links. Then we also need to adjust this value depending upon the size of your site title or logo, as well as this value right here. Now I'll go ahead and copy this code. I'll paste it into our CSS and we'll start customizing. You'll see immediately my links are equally spaced on both sides of my logo. Now again, this right here is specific for my screen size. Take a look at your website on a horizontal tablet view as well as a vertical tablet view and see if you need to adjust this number to be larger or smaller so that your menu links always look great. Now after that, I've said margin top to REM. See what happens when I change this number to five? My links definitely scoot down too much. If I leave it at zero, they'll be way too high. Two REM is the perfect distance for those links from the top of the page in relation to my logo. You can also use a different value. Maybe you want to try 25 PX, something super customizable there. So make sure you pay close attention to how you change that value. After that, we've added the spacing that actually splits the navigation. And this is super important. I have four links in my main navigation. So I need to split them after the second link. If I change this to a one, it'll push my first link to the left of the logo and all of my other links to the right. If I change this number to a three, I'll have three on the left and one on the right. So change this value to suit the number of links in your site. If you have six links in your main navigation, you'll want this to be a three. I have four, so I want it to be a two. Now this part right here is the amount of space between the links. I said margin right 50 VW, that's 50% of the screen width. I can reduce that size by maybe 20, but you'll see testimonials is starting to run into my logo there and I don't like that look. So for this particular website, I'd want to say at least 30. I think 50 looked perfect for the size of the text and the site title or logo that I'm using on this example. Last but not least, this one is so super important. Header title Z index 99. This makes sure that the main site title or logo is still a clickable link. That's super important for usability. So make sure you leave that code there. After you've made all the changes you need to make, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used. Make sure that you change that number so it separates the correct number of links for your Squarespace website. And make sure you adjust the distance value so that your site title or logo fits in the center of those header navigation links. 
Don't forget to double check your break points, which means make sure it's correct on a smaller screen size. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. This is one of the many, many things we can customize about Squarespace with CSS, and I have a lot more that I would love to teach you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to watch a brand new tutorial every week. And if you want to check out my free class on the basics of CSS for Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn for my free class on basic CSS specifically for Squarespace. Thanks again for watching this video, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.